five, four, three, two, one. Fly saw. Go, baby, go! Kevin's gonna have this little Type R he's gonna whip out. And I've got a little red hatch. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that on this dyno. Kevin's gonna get the Type R on that dyno. We're gonna knock these things out. You yes ready? sir, dyno races. All right, we're gonna dyno race for you. <laughs> okay. I just feel that it didn't have that. Like it just had laziness before okay. VTEC and then yeah. it would kind of crackle and pop and then it catch itself and off you went okay so and, and i did not time it okay That's, no i did problem. not do that so. and what plugs are uh be the iridiums <laughs> eights uh, or nines uh okay. 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 okay i'll take a look no problem she got all the goods but man yeah i mean it's and it's clean sleeved like very clean beautiful car the only thing that's been painted besides the bumper is the fenders oh wow other than that the rest of the car original paint but it's, cool. it sat in the garage for 10 years, didn't see sunlight. You know, That's awesome. Just man. a shell, and then I figured out put it all back together. This is my so. car, not his car. This is my car. Yeah, this, is, this is the long haired brand. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> you got a very cool car. I dig it. <laughs> we ought to make some jam today. Yeah, I hope so. Look at the S2000 cluster. Dude, this is nice. gorgeous, man. Yeah, this is clean. This is awesome, man. Carbon. Thanks for bringing it up. Absolutely. This is way good. Want to go nowhere else? This thing is amazing. I'm gonna have to do a quick montage yeah. of this one because there's a lot of coolness in it. Yeah, it's almost too clean. Oh, it's gorgeous, man. This is awesome. The uh, Type R is gonna be a lot more work than this was to get on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one's a little lower than Chris's. Right? Was. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, let me set you up now, brother. Oh yeah, Kev. She's a beauty, bro. Yeah. No, this thing is set to jet. It is a bad mamma jamma. Everything. This is a jammer. Even everything. Everything. Fuel system. Yep. What is that fuel? I didn't ask yet.
294, 275. We'll definitely see what we can make. Yep. Yeah. Like maybe I'll just take the coils off one by one. Yeah. Well, see, I had some cheesy old, like, nice flat ones. With oh, the dude, those ones, they just come out. Oh, on, on the dyno. On the dyno. Pop the o ring right out. Long we already got Clayton off. Clayton at work already. Yeah. And it's, uh, because this is Golden Eagle Block. Okay. Um, it's o ring and it's set there. Very cool. The factory one. The factory ones are good. J Pro Seals are yeah. my favorite, but back to me is the next. Well, if it ever has a problem, that's what we're going to. What kind of power are you looking for? I just need to Um, just good street stuff or? I mean, I'm going to take to the track. So cool. Running. Are you coming this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to try. Yep. So one of his first complaints was about drivability and uh, how stuff felt weird. But you can see in these cells right here, we're really close together. The spacing is really kind of all over the place. So we really need to find out why. You see, if you look at the map itself. You can see things just don't look correct. That's the VTEC one. See our spacing. See everything's all way out and nowhere. I'm coming out with a cartoon, bro. What? Keep my cartoon coming. All right, all right. So I went through the fueling. Everything else is the same. Still low boost, and we're gonna make a rip again. Dude, it probably wants 42. Yeah, it does. Okay. 
42, 43. Well, let's do it. Yeah, that was still four pounds. Still four pounds? Yeah. yeah. But like, look at this big change right here. That was moving yeah. VTEC down. Yeah. Because like, that's where VTEC jumped up. You see, it still jumps, so it wants it a touch earlier. Yeah, it does. Because you want that, further. you want that flat, so it's, you just keep bringing it back until it's a smooth line. So what are we at there? That was 45, so it probably so wants 42, 42 43. Yeah. Shoot, yeah, shoot at 42. All right, guys. So with this light wastegate spring, three ports only going to get us so far. So we're going to go ahead and switch this four port in here. What clutch is it? Uh, stage four calm. I'm gonna have to get a twin. Yeah, you're, you're the twin dudes. All right, we flashed another map. We're gonna make it a second pull. See what it looks like. I knew it was gonna be inevitable. So. Kevin 323 and 344 yep. Heck yeah All right. Things ripping yeah. It's not a single disc clutch No Stage 4 no. No. We're talking twin disc right now yeah. that, Did you hear it not let yeah. go at the end? It just wouldn't let go I just thought it like making power Yeah Yeah it was like making the Drop <laughs> so you're saying single gear, single gear pulls. That's it. That's all we get here. Yeah. Pull. No shifting. Yeah, that's it. CVT. You can't get so it back to neutral. Just give, launch it forth and give it a good push. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the just drag it down in the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. It sounded like it was ripping over there. My 300 didn't sound like that. <laughs> well, he just had to double you. It's doing good. Picked up 30 horse, so we'll see what it does on me. So we made 630 horsepower, but the problem is when it's a single disc clutch, and so after the pull, when I went to stab the clutch, I could not uh, get it out of gear. So I backed some boost down, and uh, we're gonna try to make some power. Huh? 
570. May just need a hair less. Cause I, I was 18 pounds, but I was able to just yeah, about get it out of gear. Barely might, get it out. Yeah, and it may just take the Revlon down a couple hundred RPM. Okay. So I may, I may drop the Revlon a couple hundred RPM okay, and fine. soften the boost just a little more. Okay. Just so you can shift the car. Okay. Without okay. munching. Yeah, I heard it again. Heard yeah, it was so slight that time, like it almost worked. So, yeah, do, I mean, do really it really close. Do what you think is going to be best for it to last until we get a good disconnect. That's it. So, exactly what I said. so we can have some fun this weekend. That's it. I'm game with that. Whew. She is a monster. It definitely wants a lot more RPM, and then um, we can really start ramping stuff in. It's just the, with the clutch the way it is, um, it would just cause him to hang up, and then when he'd go to shift, he'd just munch the synchro and then yeah, yeah. chase another problem so so try to make it better safe than sorry type of thing and uh, just like you said have a good time with it so I think low 500s ought to be where we go it's super hot today what's going on guys welcome back to PFI speed this is the real hour of power Brent's over there saying it's the hour of power but he's half hour in a power and we're doing the real hour power over here on the Mustang Dyno all-wheel drive, making this uh, 2018 or 17 Type R Civic. Makes some power, we picked up 27 horsepower. We did everything in linked mode, uh, picked up our horsepower, now we're gonna put it back in two-wheel drive mode, see if we can make a number here. It looks like the Dyno's trying to fight us again, like it did on Emilio's car, but we're gonna fight through it, just send in one final flash, and then we'll, we'll get to going, make another pull. Said Kevin, quit pushing my buttons. Right, now that it's all 358 and 381. That was only four poles right in the road. So. Yeah. Probably lost 50 horse, I guess. <laughs> we'll let it cool down, make another one. Heck yeah. Six hour cool down. Okay, so what I did was um, I added a bunch of boost duty and then I pulled it out and I lowered the rev limiter, trying to get the power to come up and then kind of fall off just so we'll be able to shift it for the weekend until we can get a new twin disc clutch in here. So, let's test this out. Oh, that one fan, I forgot the switch. What a loser. You think my name was Kevin? Yeah, right. I must be a, I just did a Kevin. No, I did an hour of power over there. An hour of power? Yeah. You made 350 dogs. It's hot. <laughs> I'm just teasing dog. Yeah, we'll go. I, I have a little house fan. <laughs> I want to. Maybe we should just put like huge ones in the wall outside and just. Even though it's 800 degrees outside. Still, you'd be outside air blasting through the building. Who makes that cluster? Like, That's an S2000. Who makes the. To mount it in there. Anybody could. They're super easy to mount. No, I'm saying who makes that cover and everything. It's not he, he probably did. You see his little gas tank thing? Yeah, I did. That's sick. He made that? His buddy did. That's pretty sick. I love that. And they make the jumpers that just plug in and stuff. How easy is that? It's great. It's wonderful. Just trying to bring that back down a 
looked like it came down. Yeah, I put boost up in the beginning and then I took it way out. Yeah. yeah it looked like it did what you needed. Yeah, I just I hit the limiter twice. But I, I was trying to basically pull it, it out the back so yeah, it'll shift. shift. And the limiter's down to 85 instead of 9, so you see less inertia. Yep. So just looking at this too. The last one was 401 foot pounds before I brought it in hard there. 401 foot pounds on that. Yeah, because they just brought in Most the power. Was 423 on that high power pull, a six something. Yeah, because I, I put the same type of boost duty in that spot so I would have the and same kind just of. brought it out. And then I took it away. Yeah. Just so it would shift. Yeah. I just didn't have the torque on, so I wanted to see what it was. That's interesting, though. I like that. Yeah. All right, guys. Final pull on the Type R. We let it cool down for about 20 minutes. Dino's all figured out. We're going to go ahead and do one and see what she makes. Three ninety five, four twenty. that too oh cool thank you man I yeah appreciate man it. appreciate it again for sure absolutely that is awesome that is it a little hot rod just turned out epic super well put together a good mix of old school parts and some new school tech and it just made a bunch of power and uh, I can't wait for him to put a twin disc in it and that's turning up even more so it's pretty awesome and that type R definitely no slouch i think it was ripping kevin did a heck of a job so we appreciate you guys watching give us a like subscribe and stay tuned thanks a bunch